And I was uh, just going through my old post because I'm trying to put my finger on this. We got everybody sitting home or everybody sent home for no apparent reason. You're claiming it's because of a spreading disease that's so contagious and so infectious that if you come in contact with it, everyone's gonna get it. It's just spread like wildfire. It's like the Midas touch. He touches it, bam, you're golden, right? You, you get touched by this, bam, you're, you're sick. Despite the fact that Rudy Gobert, the player that shut down the whole NBA, right? Who mocked the coronavirus. They claim came in contact with 92 people in the building. And that's just in the Utah Jazz facility. They're not talking about the teams that they played against because they haven't tested those players. And like with the whole um, Thunder team, no, nobody tested positive for this. The whole uh, team for, um, what's that team? Uh, the, 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 the Rafters. What's his name? Um, what's that kid from uh, Sudan, Africa? That, uh, Ibaka guarded this dude one-on-one -on -one the night before. He, he tested positive. Has still not tested positive for that coronavirus so it didn't spread the way they're saying it spread i feel like this is being selected targeted towards certain people in certain locations it almost reminds me of that episode of criminal minds where that dude purposely went out to parks and stuff like that started putting out the disease in the air and the wind would carry it and infect everybody at the playground you know and because he, he said oh this country is not prepared for another great breakout and pandemic for uh, disease and stuff like that, you know? Because that's what you're saying, the thing you're hearing right now. We weren't prepared, we weren't prepared, we weren't prepared. The same thing in that Criminal Minds episode. But I'm still like, that's still not good enough. That's not what's going on. That's not what's going on. I said, uh, you know, I thought, always thought about this. Um, why are they cleaning out the Middle East? You know, I, you know, the years go by, I look at it, you know, there's a financial thing to it because there's only, what, three nations left that doesn't, that uh, participate and the uh, Rothschilds, um, Rothschilds, um, what would you call it? Um, Anglo banking system, right? And it's Iran, it's Cuba, and North Korea, or South Korea. I believe it's South Korea. So I mean, and it's, and it's just what happens. These are all the places the United States has a big issue with. Right. So I'm sitting there, I'm like, yeah, that might be, uh, you know, but, but also with that thought process, I always felt like, all right, so you clear out the Middle East of all its people. So this is before I even got on a little financial thoughts. I was just thinking on like an, uh, an ancient thought. You clear out the Middle East. So there's so many people so you can resurrect or bring back something that's dead over there or been buried over there. Something that should not be brought back. I always felt like that's why the Ashkenazi Jew wants Palestine so bad. I don't think, because I mean, to me, I, I don't look at that as being Israel, the land of Israel. It's too small. You cannot fit all the sands of the seashore on that little strip of land there that they call Israel. Even if they want to tell you the land is more than that, it's all the way down to Yemen, you still cannot fit all the, the sand of the, uh, uh, the, the sands on the seas throughout the, you know, the world on that little strip of land, even in, the, even in that larger portion of land. Well, I'm like, well, what if there's something dead there? You know, because you, I was learning about the Fomorians and stuff like that, and they, they seem to have always have stories about the Mediterranean, maybe North Africa, but they always, I was like, uh, when something's dead over there, and they know it, and they want to clear enough people out so they can do their seances and crap like that and resurrect it and, can, you know, bring it into existence, you know. I mean, I'm learning more and more. I'm reading about the uh, Egyptian god Seth, the great serpent, the Ain Safa. You know, you see the image of the serpent that eats, that wraps around the world and eats itself? That's the other depiction, the image of the God set when he's in a serpent form. So I'm like, maybe, maybe you know, maybe, maybe that's what's going on. But I was going to, you know, but to clear my mind, I just wanted to go back and see some of the old stuff I posted because <clears throat> just going back to these old posts, you see, I see stuff that uh, makes me question and go back and look at things today. Which I thought I knew, but then, hey, you know, as I read, I learn more stuff. You will not believe this. I didn't believe it. But it just became real. Okay. Look at this right here. October 17th, 2007. 
right? What is that one card way up there in the top there? Quarantine. We've seen this card lately come up. Control, I'm oh, sorry, the Center for Disease Control. We know that their goal is to reduce the world's population. They couldn't stop talking about it. It just hasn't been brought into fruition. The Pentagon not being struck because that right there shows that it's going to be uh, destroyed. Great, right? the fire from the within the Pentagon. And what is that, right? I want right there. Doesn't that look like it's on a, like the way they have that shape? The way the Pentagon is sitting, the flames coming out of there looks like the flames coming up from out of hell. So what is the Pentagon sitting on? We've seen the towers being struck, right? Kill for peace. I don't think we've seen that yet. Tape runs out, right? The whole world's a, 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 a play. Now, I know a tape, you know, is in uh, film for, for movies, but I'm just saying, <laughs> the whole world's a play. What happens at the end of the script? <laughs> See, I looked at these cards, and I still questioned them. Even when they, you know, when people were going about them, maybe about 20 years ago, when I first started learning about these people, were really talking about this stuff a lot. You know, conspiracy groups and stuff. And, and I question them. Come on, playing cards. You know, that's that's interesting. But playing cards, you know. Some of these were coincidences. Of playing cards. But now, you do quarantine. But that's everybody. All these children are so disrespectful. They're not quarantining. They're not caring about anybody else. We need a National Guard to come in here. They're here 